going on Spartans King here and today we are going to be doing a few things uh, let's start off by doing a live raid then we'll show you a few of our other raids we've been doing just for fun got really bored of Garching so I just started building random forces uh, today I did we go wipe after I did the war attacks in the feeder so you'll be seeing some war attacks from the feeder clash army uh, I'll probably be posting those on this channel that'll be fun for you guys and then I'll also be showing world zombination and also, because it's actually been updated, World Zombination Expert's really good looking now. You guys got to see it. So I will definitely be showing a video on that really soon. And then I'll also have some Boom Beach coming out because I know a lot of people have been begging for Boom Beach for a long time. I've been refusing to do it. So I'll use the special new troop just so you guys can see that and maybe do an operation. Other than that, though, we're just going to get into this. Trying to find 200,000 of each. Uh, this base looks like it's decently leveled up for a town hall 10, it's alright, but I had no loot. So this one is an easy town hall 9, but a decent amount of loot. And we are going to start attacking here in a second, just checking the base out. Uh, definitely a lot in those collectors, gotta love that. Let's drop this golem in the inside and a golem on the outside, take care of that archer tower. And then we're just going to spawn our pekkas down and our wizards and witches on the outside, try and take out all those buildings. And we'll drop our wall breakers in a second here right now. Going in, wall breaking into the center of this base. And hopefully we can get to that second layer. 134. Wow, we just got level 134, guys. Super awesome. That was definitely epic to have on video. Did not expect that to happen. And the golem is heading toward the center of the base. So this is good news. Put the double jump spell down, or actually a single jump spell. But it's covering in four different quadrants. So this is really going to help out with spreading my troops out and destroying the base now the golems are actually doing well they're actually holding up pretty well and they're taking quite a bit of the damage for the base so i got a little spastic on those uh not moving around the video but anyway moving on the king is moving into this outer layer now almost and he is gonna wreck this base so we're already at i'm guessing about a hundred thousand of each stolen and we're gonna get the rest of this easy three star in my opinion looks like we're gonna kill it Got all my P.E.K.K.A.s alive for the most part, two golems still alive, and my king and queen on full health. So just invis the queen and now rage the king. So we have plenty of troops on the board and no more defenses left. So it's pretty much over any second here. And there we go. So a total 100%. Most of the troops still alive, really overkill raid. 250,000 of each one plus the 35,000 bonus. 14 trophy, 3 star. Very, very easy raid. Let's go ahead and pull up some replays and I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back, and we have some raids pulled up here. Let's go ahead and watch this first one. As you can see, using Belinian, we're going to drop all balloons and all minions in this raid, and we'll see how they do here. I know I did pretty decent in this one. I'm going to try not to use my spells. I will use them if necessary, though, as you can see, dropping one right there because my balloon started to go off a track. For some reason, they did not want to attack that air D, and that is bad news, as you guys know. And so, as you can see, I'm actually dropping the minions really heavily on the edges, or on the actual backside, and then very lightly on the edges to get rid of all the bombs. That allows for you not to lose too many of your minions in case there's like a hidden air bomb. And as you can see, they are working right in the center very strongly. You're going to take out this town hall. And unfortunately, there is one of those bombs taking out most of my minions there, which is very bad news, especially with this force. And I'm not even using my heroes. So we're definitely going to get quite a bit of loot and not have to worry about rehealing my heroes. And we're saving on the spells too. So it won't take that long to rebuild the spells, especially when they're boosted. Now, I did have my clan castle, these other level minions. So I think it's a level 6 minion on the board, level 6, 5, and I believe those are 4s. So 4, 5s, and 6s are on the board right now. And as you can see, we're going to pause it right here. You could tell there's a big difference, and not just the color, but the size of the minions. The 4s are way smaller than the 6s, and even the 5s are much smaller. Look at them flying. And the 6s are clearly, clearly outranking in size. And it's really awesome to see, but they definitely are really badass at level 6, and they're my favorite. Plus, I just won 100% of this base without having to use my heroes, and still won about 600,000 loot. Pretty awesome. And let's pull up one more raid. And here it is. While we're playing it, though, I'm going to tell the guys to share some epic raids in the clan, and we'll record more for the next episode. I'm also going to visit a friend's clan. He's called Shadow Ninja, and he has two clans, I believe. I'll be showing them, though. 
Definitely have some epic donations in there, and they have some really, really good players. They got 93rd in the world, I believe, and they're just a really, really high-level, awesome clan. Like, if I didn't have my clan family and my guys, I would definitely be in their clan over any other. But I do have my Spartans, and I definitely have to stay with them because, of course, I love you guys, and I want to be in your clans. We just got that easy one-star right there. 55 seconds left in the raid. I'm looking at an easy three-star, I'm guessing, right here. 49%, and there's that second star. Super, super easy. The king's not even taking that much damage. The queen's 100% on full health. So that's pretty epic. Gotta love when you don't lose your heroes and you're able to get a three star. I am overkilling these bases though with these P.E.K.K.A.s. I mean, the force that I'm using is super strong. It can challenge a Town Hall 10 for a two star. So a Town Hall 9 is kind of a joke and an insult to their strength. But definitely looking to crush some bases for fun. And not too worried. Definitely gaining a ton of gold. So that's all I really need to gain since I am maxed out on all my elixir upgrades. Well, my level 7 giants are already going to max. I forgot to show that in a farming to max episode. But those are like the last thing I need to do. And they are already going to max. So that's pretty awesome, guys. We're going to be finishing up the farming to max series pretty soon. I'm hoping in like a week or two. Maybe a month if I go slow on it. I might spread it out make it a month or two. But it's only going to take like 10 more episodes, I think. That'll be good. 500,000 win again with 26 trophies. Pretty solid. We're going to call it quits here, guys. And we're going to move over to my friend's clan and start recording. We'll have plenty more coming soon. Stay tuned for World Zombination and Boom Beach videos coming out soon. Probably tomorrow. And I will see you guys then. Peace.